Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today, we're going to replace the hard disk drive in the Dell Latitude E4300 laptop with an SSD. And as you can see, there it is. I decided to get a Samsung SSD. I already did that to a netbook, and back then I got a SanDisk SSD. However, they didn't have SanDisk in the store, they only had Samsung, so I had to get a Samsung. I'm not a huge fan of Samsung, to be honest. This is a 120 gigabyte SSD 840 series model, and uh, we're going to put that into the laptop. So, let's get started. The first thing we definitely want to do is we want to remove the battery, because we don't want to turn this thing on accidentally so let's take that out there it goes and now the access panel for the hard disk drive is located right there and there are two screws one there and one there that we have to take out so get yourself a screwdriver that fits the screws very important you don't want to uh, mess up the screws by using uh, screwdrivers that uh, are too small or too big or whatever. So take out the screws, a little tricky. Don't lose them, put them to the side into a safe spot. There goes number two. And now you can just simply pull out this little side panel and there is the original hard disk drive. As you can see, that is a Seagate 160 gigabyte. So that is mounted to this little plastic side piece using one screw. There is no screw on the other side, so just go ahead and uh, remove that one single screw. Screwdriver still fits and put that to the side and uh, now I just want to lay this down and unbox the SSD there it is as you can see we got some uh, software on a CD-ROM got all the all the manuals I guess uh, some stickers to put onto your computer housing and on the other side we get the SSD and I have to say this really uh, appears to be quite a bit higher quality than the SanDisk that uh, I had previously in another netbook. This one actually has a metal housing. It is metal and overall it uh, seems to be pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, line them up the same way so that we can uh, go ahead and uh, get the panel onto the new, onto the SSD the right way. And there is obviously a little tab that uh, goes into... <laughs> Bear with me. There is a little tab that... Uh, <laughs> okay, right, you just got to take it out the uh, the right way and then it's pretty easy. So we're just going to switch that over to uh, the SSD. Make sure that is all on there properly. Okay, line up the uh, screw hole on the side and we can uh, go ahead and uh, put the one screw back in its place. Go ahead and do that. Okay, don't tighten that down too much. You don't want to break the plastic. And uh, yeah, double check that uh, this is all lined up right here. In this case, it isn't. Okay, a little plastic tab didn't want to go down. Okay, there we go. Make sure that little tab is all the way down in the screw hole. So, uh, hmm. a little 
little bit of a cheap solution as it seems. Now we want to go ahead and uh, put the purpose drive into a safe spot and uh, in this case I'm just going to drop it into the box of the SSD. That way I won't lose it. So now we just go ahead and uh, slide the SSD into the housing and that is a little bit confusing. Okay, right. The first time I put it in, it would just uh, slide down and uh, it would just, uh, it wouldn't uh, go onto the actual socket. It would just sit in there. So you do want to make sure to uh, get it plugged into the actual socket inside of there. So that is, uh, that's important. Okay, there goes screw number two. And now we're pretty much done. So make sure, yep, that's all lined up properly. The slot, and now we can pop the battery back in its place, like so. And we're ready for a test. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and turn it on, see what happens. The laptop now complains that there is no boot sector on the hard drive, which is kind of obvious because we've just put a blank SSD into there. So apparently it detected the SSD perfectly fine, so we can now go ahead and install an operating system. Yep, I'm now in the system setup menu, which is quite advanced on this model, and as you can see, it in fact detected the SSD. There it is, 120 gigabytes. Right, now it's time to install the operating system. And this laptop originally came with Windows Vista Business, and I have to say, I don't like Windows Vista, for obvious reasons, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Windows 7 Professional onto this laptop. Uh, I got a version of Windows 7 Professional through the Microsoft DreamSpark program. That's a thing. If your university is a member in that program, students can download all kinds of Microsoft software completely for free. And uh, among that software is also Windows 7 Professional. So, here we go. I already burned a, an image to a DVD and uh, got that loaded into the system. So I'm now going to restart the computer and press F12 real quick so we can get the uh, boot menu and select the DVD drive and see what happens. Something's happening. <laughs> All right, there it goes, and I'll be back whenever it's done. And there it is. Windows installed successfully, and now, of course, it's downloading all the updates. So, hope you've enjoyed this video, and see you again soon.